I can think of the most challenging one for you, but that's. Just... But I think it might be what you're. Mine mm-hmm. might be what you're thinking of. It's, it's episode the... three or four. Fishing. Involves some water. Involves some water. And a, a yeah. very messed up fishing pole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a challenging, rewarding, mental hot. She um, went into the water for eight hours, nine, <laughs> ten hours, dunked. I mean, they had divers in there. I but you know. were sweating out your eyeballs, so, I mean, who we're really suffered that day? Yeah, yeah, that you was know? the hard At least I got to there. cool down. Yeah, you got to cool down. I was very jealous of that. <laughs> very, very jealous of that. Um, no, that, yeah. that scene was, it, it was amazing. But, but I remember Jonah said, do you, we can get your stunt double to do this. And I said, no, I want to do it. I want to do it. A lot of core strength. Yeah. Had abs of steel after that. Yeah. Um, but it's it was... the scene where I'm, I'm using her as bait to fish, to go fishing in episode three. Mm-hmm. That's what we're referring to, and it was hot, yeah. mate. Yeah, it was very hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she 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 just threw herself out there. I just had to be in a really hot suit. <laughs> I just had to sweat through my eyeballs. But <laughs> she did all the physical work. Yeah. It was good though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was really good. I don't know what was your what was your best what was your best day. Well, my favorite was, it was I think they're the same. The most challenging and <clears throat> the most difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> Episode three as well. It was the junkyard stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for whatever reason, again, the heat. Mm. Often it's the elements. You know what I mean? It's the stuff that you don't think about when you're sitting there reading the script. You know what I mean? It's just. It's yeah. the, the variables that show themselves on the day, yeah. uh, which is why the, you always should leave some space in your preparation, you know, crack the, crack the window for the spirit to come in, whatever, the, you yeah, know. Absolutely. Marsalis quote, jazz musician I could say there. But you know, it's, it's, it's always those things that really show themselves and, and, and change what is happening, you know, usually for the better if you allow them to, but it was so hot, it was so hot. Uh, you're, you're, you know, these, these, these outfits for all of us, the prosthetics, the, the vault suit, the, the brotherhood red jumper, you know, these things are um, covering our entire bodies in a way that, you know, uh, you know, we, we're, not, we're not getting air or oxygen or breathing the same way, you know, th- there's a challenge to, you know, being presented, you know, in this, in, in these, in this wardrobe and, you know, I'm, I'm fighting six stuntmen which is also my favorite thing, but you know, I like fighting with the stuntmen as opposed to other actors because I tell them all the time, I'm like, you can make a little contact with me. Yeah, yeah. I trust them, you know, yeah. they're very good at that. You don't right. trust me? No, no, <laughs> Ella would drop kick me in the face for real, you know, Ella would go for it and I'd be hurting. Yeah. But no, they're, they're so good at it that, and it makes me feel like what we're putting into the camera, you know, really looks real and, uh, it, it takes away some of the, the work of trying to pretend that, you know, these things are happening. So so we're really going through this fight scene and it took us, I think, 14 hours, you know, in, yeah. in, in the wow. blistering heat. 14 hours. It yeah. was cold water rags being draped over my head and Jonah asking me if I was okay and I wasn't. And of course, I just felt like oh, I just want to let him know that I'm never coming out. You know what I mean? Like, it's that... We, we were talking about this. It's, you have this feeling working with Jonah sometimes of like, put me in, coach. Yeah, you know, like I'm absolutely. ready. Uh, so so you're, you're willing to push yourself and push your limits. And, you know, challenging but rewarding. It's, I, I needed that to help build up my stamina for the rest of, mm. of the shoot. You know what I want to see? You know, mm. because like when I say like every day was challenging, what I mean by this is as the, as the ghoul, but we all had our uh, versions <laughs> of this experience. As the ghoul, I did, you know, a part of it, he's laconic, you know, and and he doesn't, you know, waste a lot of energy, you know, with his moves. And he has the gun back here, and, it, they, you know, you want the movements to be smooth and cool. And there was not one move that was smooth or cool. I mean, it was like <laughs> reaching for a gun, and I would hit my head, and it was like, fuck! Like, or this, you know, this, this, this not coming out of the holster, or the pit boy, or whatever it was. I would like to see a compilation of all, of all our uncool yes. moments, yes. like trying to figure this this tech stuff out, man. I mean, it was it's they're big. Everything is kind of oversized and specific to this world, and and it took a while, yeah, to figure mm-hmm. that out for all of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The amount of props I broke, yeah, maybe, and right. that would be the whole. Yeah. That would be an hour and a half. And well, the gun and the bullet. And which bullet kind of coming out? And the, right. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 The visor not closing. Yeah. yeah. Close visor. Close visor. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me a chair. Somebody give me a chair to sit down. Please, give me a chair. It was a lot. You know, it was, it was really important for me to have Hank um, complete a complete character that would include this very dark sense of humor, sort of a dry sense of humor that would occasionally come out, which we were able to get to. And that was, that was in the script, but I also made it my mission to, to, to have that wherever it could exist. That was most important. And then really, uh, the idea that there is more to Hank than you initially see. Um, in the beginning, he's a very proud father. He's obviously the head of a, this, uh, this giant uh, vault and uh, this community, and he leads by example. And, and he's, a, you know, he's an outstanding citizen, and, and he's uh, an overachiever. Um, but there's more there than that. And I wanted to have just the occasion and the opportunity here and there, just with a look or a glance or a moment, the, to give the audience a sense that, oh, there's more coming, which is difficult to do when you don't exactly know what's coming, which I didn't, but I know, based upon characters I've played in the past, that it is something that sort of comes with the territory that is me, I guess, as an actor. So I just said, well, that'll, that'll be in there, and we'll, we'll give a couple hints here and there, and then we'll elaborate on that when we finally get to those episodes. In creating the show and conceiving of the story, it was very important to us that people who had never played the game um, could enjoy it just as much as gamers who've played every game that's come out. Um, so, uh, you know, our, our, our show takes place in the Fallout timeline that's the same as the games. It just takes place after the other games have already happened. So all the major events that the gamers know and love from the prior games, we can assume that those happened before our show takes place. Um, but our show, I think, is about very universal, you know, it's a very universal and emotional story uh, that each character is going through that anyone can relate to. It's about the search for family, um, whether that's very literal in the case of our her hero Lucy, who is searching for someone she loves who's gone missing, or whether it's in the case of Max, uh, Maximus, who's a member of the Brotherhood of Steel, which is essentially his chosen family because he has been orphaned. So, uh, and then the ghoul, we will learn over the course of the story, uh, also has um, lost his family, and so it's, it, it is about that universal theme and that fundamentally emotional story. Um, so that was how we tried to make it appealing to non-gamers. Yeah, I mean striking the balance between uh, our, our gamer audience and regular folks who couldn't figure out the buttons was very important to us and uh, a part of that, you know, by design we made sure to have writers in the room who'd never played the games um, uh, so that we could check in with them and be like, and this does make sense to you also, right? Uh, and, and we hope we struck the balance correctly, um, but that's up to everyone else to decide. Everyone but us. There you are, you little killer.